Hey guys, Jill here for Premiere Basics, a weekly series where I teach you all the ins and outs of Adobe Premiere Pro. And this week, I'm going to show you how to create a super simple scribble effect like this in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now we're going to start off with writing a text three times. And this can be on a whiteboard or on a piece of paper. But make sure that the lines are black and quite thick. Now leave some space between each line and then simply take a picture of this or shoot a short video of it. Make sure that it's well lit so that there aren't any harsh shadows or highlights on the white background. Soft lighting is the key to success here. Okay, then we're going to fire up Adobe Premiere Pro and add a video to our timeline. Now this can be anything you want as a background for the scribble effect. Now put your picture or video above it on track number two and head to the effects panel. Look for the Lumetri effect and drag it onto your second layer. Go to the curve step and drag the top point to the center as well as the lower point. You want it to be super contrasty so that the darker parts are black and the highlights are white. Then we're going to head back to the effects panel and look for the invert effect. Drag it onto your layer as well. Now all of the black will turn white and vice versa. Then select your layer and head over to the effects controls panel. Set the blend mode to screen and BAM! Our background is gone. We only have text now. Now from the effect controls panel, use the pen tool to make a mask around your first text. Then duplicate your layer by holding alt while dragging. Then move the mask of the duplicate to the second text. And repeat this step for the third text as well. Then we're going to use the motion properties to align these three texts. So make sure to play around with the positioning until it looks good. Of course, the text will not be perfectly the same and that's exactly what we want. Then we're going to let each text appear for two frames. So use your arrow keys and add edit tool to place a whole bunch of cuts. Then get rid of everything that isn't needed and once that's done, it will look like this. Then select all these bits and pieces and right click on them and then nest these. And this is now your scribble text layer. Now once you've nested this, go over to the effects controls panel and set the blending mode to screen again. Now we do this because we don't have any background layers anymore and we want to get rid of our back background again. Now it's a white color now, but you can always change the color of this by going to the effects panel and using the tint effect on it. And then you can change it to any color you want. And that's how simple it is to create this super simple scribble effect. Now if you really like title effects, maybe even transitions and other types of video packs, then have a look at our website. We have a whole bunch of amazing and high quality video packs that you can buy. And if you are someone who wants to learn a lot, then have a look at our dedicated editing classes. Link to this is in the description down below. I'll see you guys next week for a new live stream and a new tutorial. And as always, stay creative.